Hola amigos, soy Twinkle. Do you know what time it is? It's Twinkle Time Live Online. Are you ready, DJ Dallas? You know it. <laughs> One, two, three. Come on, everybody, just shimmer with me. Blink three times and you will see a spark of Twinkle. to all of you in Espanol. Ready? On the count of three. Feliz Viernes! That's right. You know, if it's the first time tuning in to Twinkle Time live online, or as I always like to say, hashtag TTLOL, everything that we do here is educational, bilingual, and musical fun. So on the count of three in Espanol, let's say Feliz Viernes, on the count of three, ready? Uno, dos, tres. Feliz Viernes, that's right. I hope everybody's having a fantastic, fabulous Friday. You know when I woke up this morning, it was raining here in Los Angeles, California. It was super dark, super cloudy that I almost thought that it was still way earlier. And I was like, oh my goodness, it's like 7.30, but it looks like it's five o'clock in the morning because it was dark and gloomy. And then when I took Zuri out for a walk, it was sprinkling. It was beautiful. I haven't been outside lately, so I don't know if the sun's come up, but I hope everybody's having a fabulous Friday wherever you are at. And you know how much I love Fridays. Why? Because on Fridays, I get to play all my Friday fave videos from independent recording artists for kids and families. And it's also Fun Fact Friday where we get to learn all kinds of fun, interesting facts. Uh, but before we do all of that, I just wanted to say Thank you to a couple of people. I just found out, so I just got an email right before the show started that I almost didn't start right at two. I was like, ooh, how exciting. For those of you who didn't know, I have a brand new single called Together, y en Español Unidos, and they just played, let me find out exactly where, uh, my song Together was played on a radio station in the state of Vermont. How amazing is that? Let me get the call letters out so we can give them a little shout out. Uh, my song was played at WVEW 107.7 FM. So thank you so much for playing together this morning. I'm so excited. If I can find a link to it, you know I'll be posting on my Facebook page, which is Twinkle Time, and also on my Insta stories on Twinkle Time and friends on my Instagram. So how cool is that? And speaking of my new single, I have a li literally written here, my videos, my two videos combined, so thanks to all of you that have been watching, together combined have 13,791 views. What? Hey! So awesome. So exciting for that. So um, let's get each video up to 10,000 videos, like not 10,000 videos, 10,000 views 
per video. So hopefully maybe next week I could be like, um, hello, we are up to uh, over 20 thousand views per video that would be amazing so thank you so much so you know what um i have a question for everybody oh and um i was reading some of the comments before we got started for twinkle time live online somebody was like i'm so tired i don't know if i'm going to be able to stay up for the whole live stream and let me guarantee you i will do whatever it takes to keep you awake so i think that was katie that said that so, um, Katie, I'm going to keep checking in, in on you throughout the entire uh, stream. So, stay awake. So, uh, anybody know or love little roly polies? Do you know what I'm talking about? Those, like, little bugs that are um, kind of purple. And um, they literally, like, kind of look like a little miniature worm. And then they, like, roll up into a little ball. You all know what I'm talking about? Um, well, I used to collect little roly polies when I was little. They were like my favorite thing to find. And then like I would like scoop them all up and see if I could get them into a little ball. Well, you know what, guys? I have to apologize to the roly polies because I didn't know that when, this is fun facts, um, when you, when they become like tiny little balls, it's because they were disturbed or startled. So I'm apologizing to all the little roly polies. I'd be like, oh, how cute. Look, they move like little balls. <laughs> goodness poor little roly polies I disturbed them and startled them um, another couple fun facts about roly polies are that they're not insects I didn't know that uh, they're not insects they're actually a part of uh, more more a part of like the crab and lobster family who knew and did you know that roly polies literally at night come from their little burrows and they creep out and they eat dead plants, and this is going to get gross, dead animals, but they actually are a huge part, and they're, they have a very important role in the ecosystem process. Who knew about the roly polies and how huge they are and part of our ecosystem? I didn't know that. Pretty fun facts, right? So speaking of roly polies, I have a friend named Uncle Jumbo. Let me show you a little picture about Uncle Jumbo. He is all the way from Houston, Texas, and he has three albums, three children's albums. He's an independent recording artist for kids and families, and he is so sweet. We are friends uh, virtually online, so I will put all of his information in the description box later. But he wrote the coolest song about roly polies. It is so cool that you are going to be singing this after the show is over. It is that infectious. So are you guys ready for Uncle Jumbo's song called Roly Poly? Here we go. Oh, here we go. For reals now. This is a story from a new point of view. Roly
Roly poly, roly poly. Wasn't that an awesome, fun song? I was literally singing that all day yesterday, and it reminded me when I used to teach little kids. When I used to do this move, I used to say the roly poly. So I think that's why I loved that song. So that was Roly Poly by Uncle Jumbo. How fun is that? So I have another fun thing to talk about. So you know what's so cool is that us humans make some really cool sounds using our vocal cords, right? Uh, we, you know, talking, screaming, singing, and also making weird sounds like even burping, even when it's least expected. But did you know that animals also make really crazy sounds too? Right? So let's see. So these are some fun facts, and that's plural because it's multiple facts. Um, so a fun fact about crickets. You all know little crickets, right? Well, they are definitely insects because they have six legs. But the coolest thing about little crickets are they, their hearing organs are in their knees. How awesome is that? They're in their knees, and they have four acoustic inputs you know like musicians when they're plugging in their guitar or their bass or into the amp or whatever they have like little inputs well crickets have four inputs that literally vibrate the sound through their entire little cricket body how awesome is that i didn't even know that about the crickets so um that's one fun fact and another cool fun fact are about elephants so elephants now I was trying to figure out how to do a elephant trombone sound, but I'm not really good at making an elephant sound. If anybody home, well, I, I wanna hear nice and loud, somebody make an elephant trombone sound, but you know how like, yeah, that, that wasn't a good trombone sound. But anyways, they can make the loudest trombone sounds, but loud, but very, very low in pitch that us humans can't even hear, but elephants, can hear up to six miles away. Six miles. And usually they do that really low pitch sound and it's called an infrasound. Infrasound, how cool is that, right? And it's usually for a call, like for maybe a little elephant that maybe got lost and isn't a part of the group or because something is close by that's dangerous or in danger, so it's like a warning signal to everybody. So. That is called an infrasound by elephants, the sound that they make. And speaking of really cool sounds, I have a video called Animal Sounds. That's right. And let me show you the singer and the writer of this really cool song. Her name is Lori, and Lori is from Music Monkey Jungle. And she comes all the way from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, where she is an educator and she writes music. She's also an independent recording artist for kids and families. And she actually wrote this song, Animal Sounds, to teach all of her kids about dynamics in a song, about tempos, about quarter notes, about all kinds of things that relate to music and speaking of music. And I think this is why I really related to Miss Lori was that her most favorite people in the entire world, are you ready? Are people that love music and come together, like all of us here at Twinkle Time Live Online, that come together for the love of music. So, Miss Lori, that is so super cool. Here is Miss Lori with her song and video called Animal Sounds. Here we go. Bum, 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 bum. There once was a lion who lost his sounds, so he looked where his sounds could be found. A store called Animal Sounds are us, where animal sounds are all the fuss. There were quacks and clucks and cock-a-doodle-doos and oinks, baz, barks, meows, and moos. He searched high and low throughout the store for the perfect purr and the perfect roar. He asked the clerk to help him find a purr just for him, a one of a kind. A soothing purr that's soft and sweet, a purr that would make him feel complete. The clerk brought out the best purr he could find, a perfect lion purr, a one of a kind. It was soothing, soft, and sweet, oh yes, it sounded really awesome and went like this. Purr, 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 purr. 
once was a lion who lost his sound, so he looked where his sounds could be found. A store called Animal Sounds are us, where animal sounds are all the fuss. There were quacks and clucks and cock-a-doodle-doos and oinks, baz, barks, meows, and moos. He searched high and low throughout the store for the perfect purr and the perfect roar. He asked the clerk to help him find a roar just for him, a one-of-a-kind, a dynamic roar that's strong and loud, a roar that would make him feel real proud. The clerk brought out the best roar he could find, a perfect lion roar, a one-of-a-kind. It was dynamic, strong, and loud, oh yes. It sounded really awesome and went like this. Roar, 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 roar. Roar, 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 roar. Roar, 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 roar. Roar, 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 roar. There once was a lion who lost his sound, so he looked where his sounds could be found. A store called Animal Sounds are us, where animal sounds are all the fuss. There were quacks and clucks and cock-a-doodle-doos and oinks, baz, barks, meows, and moos. He searched high and low throughout the store and found a perfect purr and a perfect roar. Wasn't that so super cute? And yes, I have been reading some of the comments, and for some reason, um, I am losing signal on my program that's shooting it to YouTube. So I don't know what that is. It keeps going from green to orange to yellow to red, green, orange. That means I'm losing some frames. So um, I totally apologize. Maybe it's because a whole bunch of people are on and streaming at the same time. I'm not a techie, so I have no, right now it's on red. It's like flashing red, flashing red. So, um, but as long as you guys are seeing it, we're just gonna keep moving forward and. And um, right now it's fully red. I'm looking for a green signal. Now it's back to orange. I do love orange, but I really want it to be on green. So get back on green program. Oh my goodness. All the things that you have to deal with when you are streaming live, right? So you know what? We're going to keep moving forward. Are you guys ready for fun fact number three? Although it's fun facts because there's going to be lots of facts. Fun facts is plural. Singular would be only one fact. Plural is multiple facts that I'm going to be talking about. Who likes bees? Yes, like bzz, bees. Um, anybody have been stung by a bee before? I have twice. Once when I was performing, I was performing here in Los Angeles, California at a show called, at a place called The Grove. And I literally was, I had my arms up and I must have put my arms down, and all of a sudden I was like, <gasps> and I still had to sing. I was like, oh, I didn't know what was wrong until the end of the song, and then I looked, and my whole underarm right here was swollen and red, and I saw the little stinger, like the little poker thing, hanging out of my skin. I was like, <laughs> I started crying up on stage. Good thing I perform for kids and families. There was so many moms, dads, grandmas, theas, uh, nannies that were there, were first aid kits and there to help me out. So until I, it's like a weird feeling. It like, it turns like, it was, it was like really hot and then it kind of, it was like swollen a little. Um, and then after the shock went away, I continued the show clearly because the show must go on always. But it was not fun, but now we are gonna talk about bees. So did you know that um, bees, so bees are insects because they have six legs, but this is a really interesting fun fact about bees. Did you know that they have five eyes? Yes, five eyes, two huge eyes like on the side and three little tiny eyes up here on top of their head and that is because it detects light. So clearly, I they had a lot of light when my arms were up, but then somehow I smashed it. Oh, my timing and my bad luck that day. Um, and so, so they have five eyes and did you know that female bees are called worker bees? And did you know that the queen bee, she sends everybody to go make honey and to sting people? No, not really. That was a joke. Um, but the queen bee, get this fun fact. She lays 2,000 eggs a day. 2,000 eggs 
not a month or a year, but a day. Who knew? That is so crazy. So, you know, I have a really cool video um, that I'm going to pop up, and I want to tell you all about The Singer, another independent recording artist for kids and families, and her name is Dana. And Dana comes all the way from Colorado, and let me tell you, she definitely is the queen bee herself, and not queen bay, because that's Beyonce, but the queen bee, um, because she is like a pioneer in the family scene. She's been making music for kids and families since 1994, still to this day. She's got six albums, and she has a seventh one that I believe is released or dropping this week. And get this, she has 22, yes, 22 national awards for all of her albums, for her music, for all of the stuff that she does in the independent family scene for kids and families. And let me tell you, she's a good friend of mine and she as, is as sweet as honey. I can definitely tell you that. And she is so cool and she has a really cool music video. Let me tell you all about it. It is called, are we ready? Honey Bee Bebop by Miss Dana. Here we go. another song that is going to be stuck with you all day long. I love, love that song. So that was Dana. And again, I'm going to put 
everybody's information in the description box once this video is uploaded so you guys can take a listen whenever you would like. Um, I was uh, reading some of the comments and somebody said that they thought she, I was going to say 22 grandkids. <laughs> wow. Um, I actually don't know how many grandkids she has, um, but I will ask her next time we're on the phone. Um, if I got stung by a bee right now, I would be wide awake. Oh no, Katie, I'm still glad that you're so wide awake still that you're not, that you didn't fall asleep um getting a 60s vibe from the yes right it was so catchy so cute and somebody says i might be allergic to bees <gasps> have you not been stung by a bee before oh my goodness um i hope i hope you get never get stung by a bee um you guys that was so much fun right all the fun music videos that we played today um you know what let me do a quick little plug let me get to my little patreon card if you didn't know is www.patreon.com forward slash twinkle time or www.patreon.com forward slash twinkle time um and another good way to help me out is literally by showing up here Monday through Friday at what time? 2 p.m. 2 de la tarde, tiempo pacifico, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Monday through Friday, Twinkle Time Live Online. Can you believe today is Friday? That means that I won't be on tomorrow or Sunday, but I will see you on Monday. Um, yeah, this has been so much fun. So I forgot to mention, this is today, Friday, is my 48th live stream. I've done 48 live streams so far, so whoop woo! So in two more, well, I guess, I don't know, do you count today or do you just count the 49 that's coming up on Monday? But Tuesday, I believe, will be my 50th live stream. So we all have to celebrate. So everybody tune in on Tuesday for sure. Tell me what we should do, how we should celebrate. Put it in the comments section. Send me a DM, Twinkle Time and Friends on Instagram or Twinkle Time on Facebook. We're going to have so much fun. We're going to have a party on Tuesday for sure. Uh, but right now, are we ready? Everybody come close. Let me, let's do a drum roll on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Three, dun da da da, for the joke of the day. Oh my goodness, let me get to my phone because I've got a really good joke today. <clears throat> Are we ready? Here we go. What cheese is not yours? Nacho cheese. <laughs> nacho cheese i love that joke um thank you for the person that sent that joke to me um and if you like that joke make sure that you put it in the comment section let me see um anything big for the 50th you know i don't know that's why i need everybody tell me what we should do um because this is a group effort it's not just me celebrating i'm celebrating with all of you because you guys have made this possible like i mentioned the other day if it wasn't for you guys i literally would be sitting here talking to myself what it kind of is like I'm talking to myself, but I know you guys are out there watching. So I want to thank every single one of you that have been so loyal and watching so far 48 live streams and hopefully many, many more. And also for those of you that maybe aren't tuning in live, but literally watch, you know, after the video comes up, I thank all of you too. So thank you so much. Um, it says, I'll make an announcement in the street team group for that. Thank you, Katie. Yay. Well, again, I just want to say thank you so much for tuning in to Twinkle Time Live Online. Hopefully I'm not freezing up. So far it's going from green to yellow. So I guess that's better than orange and red, right? <laughs> so on the count of three, everybody together, let's sing out and close out the show for the week cannot wait to see you on Monday. Here we go. Are we ready? One, two, three. T-W-I-N-K-L-E. That's what everybody calls me. Mwah. From my house to yours, have a fabulous Friday and a fantastic weekend. And I can't wait to see you Monday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard or 2 de la tarde Tiempo Pacifico here on YouTube on my Twinkle Time channel. I will see you all Monday. Mwah. Bye, everybody. Have a really fun day. Bye.